In the United States, it is illegal to require a religious test as a qualification for any government office. But what counts as a religious test? The argument is often made that any investigation of someone's religious beliefs during an interview is a religious test and is therefore illegal. But is it? Now, just to be clear, I do think that a person should not be disqualified from a job solely based on the fact that they claim membership in a particular religion. However, not all questions about a person's religion are a religious test. If the question is asked for the purpose of finding out if the person will actually do the job, even if the question is directly related to their religion, then that is a question about their ability or willingness to perform the job, and I think that's an entirely fair question to ask. The purpose of prohibiting religious tests, as far as I can tell, is to prevent arbitrary discrimination stemming from the personal tribal bias of the person making the hiring decision, not to allow people into jobs which they have promised to not perform correctly on the basis of their religion. To show what I mean, let's imagine a private sector job interview. In the United States, it is illegal for private employers to discriminate against job applicants on the basis of their religion which is similar to the ban on religious tests for government office. But what if, as part of an applicant's religion, they were obligated to scream as loud as they could every time they received an email, and they refused to give customers accurate information over the phone? Would asking an applicant about these practices count as a religious test? Well, I suppose technically it might, but is it really a religious test or a job competency test? Well, consider this. Would that same employer have hired a different person who vowed to engage in the exact same behaviors, but not as part of any particular religion? Maybe this other person just enjoys being obnoxious and difficult. If the employer would have hired this other person, but not the first one, that would seem to be a case of conducting a religious test and unfairly discriminating against the first person solely on the basis of their membership in a particular religion. But... If the employer wouldn't hire either of them on the obvious basis that they are unlikely to perform the job well, that would seem to be an appropriate measure to ensure that the position is filled by someone who can actually do the job, and it would not seem to violate the purpose of the laws against religious tests. A ban on religious tests, whether for a government office or a private job, is designed to prevent arbitrary tribal discrimination against qualified people not to give unqualified or untrustworthy people a free pass to enter a job that they can't or won't perform as required.